update video. Hey guys, what is going on? I am Mike Barker. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Listen, there's been a lot going on in the shop, in my life, in my life. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So today I'm gonna to show you some of what I've been working on. Let's start with what's not worked so well. First up we have Ron Burgundy. Mike, I thought you had sold Ron Burgundy. Well, here's the thing. Old Ron here, well, he's kind of sold, tentatively sold. I've been talking with a guy over in Prince Edward Island, not Barry, although he's included in another part of this video, about this bike, and that guy has been traveling a bunch and he seemed like a decent dude, so I told him I'd hold it aside for him, and then, uh, admittedly, I did a bad seller thing and I kind of said, listen, you know, you haven't come and get it yet, are you gonna come and get it? And he said, oh, well, wait, don't you remember I, I said that I wasn't gonna be able to come over? Da, 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 da. He had explained it all out to me and I mistakenly had gotten my wires crossed. So the short end of the story though is he's supposed to be coming over and getting it in the next week. So that's good. Quite frankly, if he doesn't, I'll just, I'll just relist Ron. In the non-bike category, I'm in the process of switching over my summertime and wintertime yard equipment here. I do maintain my own property. I've gotten about an acre here at my house, so it consumes a lot of time, but believe it or not, I do enjoy hopping on the old lawn tractor boop, and taking care of my property. Snowblower needs to go. How about a project that's not mine that you've seen in a lot of these videos? So this is Ghetto Garage J's 1984 Honda XR600L. I think I get that all right. It's a dirt bike. I don't know a lot about them, but this one is mega rad. Jay has been working away all winter on this thing, modifying the suspension, and wowie, how has he done a job. He swapped out the front forks for a later model. He's got like two inches more ground clearance in the front end, which is just wild. In the back end here, he's installed a bigger monoshock. Again, gaining more ground clearance. I think this stuff is all like OE Honda, like just parts bin stuff. It's done the job though. He's also installed a gnarly super trap muffler. That pipe makes this thing sound so, so angry now. I should also mention that the main reason this bike is even in my garage in the first place is because the transmission grenaded last summer and he spent the winter rebuilding the thing, but it is tip top now. All right, now onto the CB, uh, but not that CB, not yet. So the 750, I really haven't touched in the last little while, but, 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 let me explain. So, I actually plan on pulling the entire front end off this bike really soon. It's got a couple of leaky fork seals, and well, I need to get that fixed ASAP. But there are some other things in the works too for the front end of this bike. You may be shocked to find out, but I'm finally going to clean the rim. What? And while the forks are off, I'm gonna do a couple of other things. I'm gonna finally put on those new headlight ears that I bought. I'm planning right now to clean up the lower forks, either polish them or I might even try Plasti Dip on them. I haven't used it before. Um, comment down below if you've used Plasti Dip and it's worked out well, or if you've used it and it's been terrible. I'm also gonna ditch the Speedo cable, replace these gaiters with something a little different, and maybe finally get some new tires because this front one, super worn. And as you can see, the A86 Corolla is collecting dust in the corner, buried by toys, various toys of various Types. I do have some plans for the old A86 Corolla, but time is at a premium, and I'll explain why in a minute. Now, here's something new to talk about. This is a 1978 Honda CB 550 that I picked up. But here's the catch. This is not my motorcycle. Remember when I mentioned that PEI Barry was gonna come into part of this video? Well, here's where he comes in. This is his motorcycle. He wired me some money, I went, looked at the thing, figured, hmm, for 250 bucks, this could be worth it. The odometer says it has 21,800 miles on it. We'll see how accurate that actually is. Do you like that it has two left side mirrors? Amazing.
tank doesn't look too scaly inside either. I mean, it's got your normal rust, but doesn't look nearly as nasty as some that I've seen, but these tanks are really hard to see down inside of. The exhaust is garbage. Both the rear and the front fenders though, are super clean looking. And the idea is that we're gonna change this into something new, something different. Maybe a little more cafe racer-ish, maybe a little more bratish, maybe scrambler-ish, street fighter-ish, who, like we don't even know at this point. We've been throwing around some ideas and we do know, we do know however, that we wanna keep this low buck because the idea is to still make a profit off it. Either way, I'm super pumped because I really have never worked on a CB550 before. Um, I'm not gonna count Jay's CB550 Cafe Racer because that thing is like... So yeah, that's what's going on with this. I've actually been working on a very top secret personal project. That's right. My wife and I are having a baby. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't see that one coming, did you? Now, okay, hold up. So, don't worry, this is not gonna turn into a family vlogging channel with like 50 kids and no time for bikes or cars or anything else. It just means that the content might come a little bit slower for the next month or maybe a couple weeks. I, I, I have no idea, like no sweet clue. This is kid number one for us. Comment down below if I'm crazy or you have advice to save my ass. Well, I've got a little practicing to do now. Like I said, uh, don't be worried, I'll be back. Just might take a while. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, listen, do me a solid. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up for luck, if nothing else. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, if you are subscribed, we're like almost 1,600 subscribers now, which is so awesome. Anyway, guys, see you in the next video. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, this baby, this baby is coming April 23rd. Yeah, doctor says.